Hey everyone, we're just uh, here as promised earlier, we're going to talk about little baby carriers um, and the commonly asked questions um, that we come across. If you have any questions uh, in the meantime, shout them out below. Um, we're here today with Lily Baby, that is Lily and she's a baby and she's going to go into a little baby and show us how to put them on. And Big Brother Alfie who is demonstrating the little baby doll carrier. <laughs> You hiding? And Katie. Hi. Okay, so first off, um, everyone seems to get confused with all the different types of little baby. There's the little baby complete, which comes in four different types: the little baby carry on and the new little baby essentials. Today we're going to talk about the little baby complete, and often people think that the all seasons, the original, nice? they're all different carriers. They're actually the same carrier. I guess you were just going to liken it to something like a Ford uh, Focus, where you've got the Ford Focus Basic, the Ford Focus Sport. So the Little Baby Complete is the name of the carrier, and it comes in different finishes. Each carrier has two layers of material. So you have the inner layer and the outer layer, and it's these different layers which show us which is the um, different type of carrier. So to start off, we've got the demonstrated by Katie. We've got the original, um, the complete original. This is two layers of cotton. So you've got cotton on the inside, cotton on the outside. Um, it comes with a nice big hood um, and a nice big pocket, I should say, on the front. That's the uh, flutter high. Or blue giraffes as I call it I'm sure it's got a proper name so that's the little baby complete original just means two layers of cotton the next one is the little baby airflow Um, this is it in charcoal berry and this is two layers of breathable mesh so this is fantastic for summertime um, if you're a very very hot person I would prefer the mesh because I'm quite a hot person so I like the breathability of that um, and all that is, is the yeah. inner and the outer later you can actually see it's quite if you just look it through the light you can see it's see-through um, the next one then is your seasons shown here in the absolutely gorgeous pink lining penguins this is my favorite print well, my favourite print this season, my favourite print seems to change each season. And what the All Seasons is, it's the outer layer of cotton, the inner layer is the breathable mesh. So the benefit of the All Seasons is you can use it all year round. So as you can see, it's zipped down there. In the summertime, if you can just lift the hood up there, can't yeah. you? In the summertime, you can see you've got the breathable mesh option so you zip it down and it's going to let the air in. it's going to be nice and cool and then that clicks down there like that and then in cold weather you would zip that up and then effectively you've got the same as the little baby original because you've got two layers of cotton so that's the beauty of the all seasons because it it's, gives you that dual cotton version or sorry the cotton version for winter and then you can zip down this has got a pocket in the front as well there but it's a bit of a smaller pocket it does fit my phone and Alfie wants me to show you the organic thanks Alfie I can see a warehouse lot hey. coming here later with the organic this is the organic is in green can I see and the organic <laughs> no we're not showing you the, the <laughs> we're not showing you the organic the organic is basically the same oh we've got all children kicking off right now hi Lily with it's the, so good, Alfie wants in there. Oh, Alfie wants to go in here. So, the organic is the mm -hmm. same as the original, it's two layers of cotton. However, it's organic certified and it's super, super soft. If you like really soft yeah, it really carriers. might be a um, uh, warehouse lot fairly oh, soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can see there's, there's a warehouse lot coming up later on uh, for those of you looking for little baby bargains. Um, and then the final version, these are all Little Baby Complete, so just different finishes. Um, so this is the embossed, and this is the new black diamond embossed, um, and it comes with gold. A couple of the latest prints have come with gold finishing, which is quite nice and flash. Um, the embossed has a microfiber suede cloth. Apologise, my really chipped nails. Um, 
but it's got a microwave for suede cloth and so the embossed is super slim it's super light it's actually the second um, coolest out of all the carriers. If you like a really, really nice light carrier that folds up really neatly, the embossed is the one for you. In terms of kind of hot to cold, um, you're gonna have your airflow is number one for coolest. Number two would be embossed. Number three would be the all seasons. Number four, joint fourth would be the original and the organic. Um, I'm not actually sure the difference between the two of those. It'd probably be about that's, the same. That's soft out of the box, but they're both cotton, so they're both going to be as breathable. Perfect. Now, commonly, Katie, you spend your life <laughs> <laughs> seeming to fix uh, queries about Lilla Baby. What's the most common question asked? Probably, when is your baby ready to go into the wider setting? Now, with the Lilla Baby, there are two settings. There is the wide setting, which this is at at the moment. And then if we take it off its hanger. Karen wants to see Alfie demoing. <laughs> we just seen Alfie demoing and it's just resulted in another warehouse loft. <laughs> Do you want to talk with mummy? Mm. No. no. Okay. <laughs> That's that answered then. So if we slide the lumbar support off the back, you don't need to do this every time you use your little baby. You just need to do this when you're moving from the wide to the narrow setting. So Lily hit that. She's six months, but she was 10 too when she was born and she's over the 100th centile. So not every six month old will be fit to go into the wide setting. It's very rare, I think, that you'll actually get a six month to fit the wide setting. Um, it is quite a generous carrier. Um, so I find that normally seven, eight months, you're probably thinking about the wider setting. Until you get to that, you have the narrow setting, which you can use from birth with legs out. Lily was in it from day one. So you've got the two loops, which I've just slid off the waistband. They fold in together. There's a little popper on the inside. This little snaps the two together. Are you very excited, Lily? Are you very happy? No, I'm happy. You're happy. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. That's it in your narrower setting. Whenever um, I'm talking to people online, they always seem to think that baby seems to sit here and once their legs get past a certain length, that's it. They're too big for the narrow setting, but too small for the wide setting. That isn't the case. What you can do is you can wear this up quite high. I normally tell people just to wear it just under boobs for mummies. Put the lumbar support back on because everybody needs a lumbar support. Yes, they do. Are you happy? There's a smiley bird. Noisy too. Put it on, as I said, quite high up. Try the long rest support system over your back. Clip it in and then just tug to tighten. These Can are going to be, be all quite stiff. stiff because they're brand new. Um, I always recommend a wash when you buy a little baby carrier. Yep. And just sitting there pulling the straps through to kind of soften them up. About five minutes of doing that will really loosen up those straps and make them much easier the first That's couple of times. Looser already after the first go. So that just shows you how easy that is. So I'm gonna loosen it slightly for myself. Shed. Shed. So you can see here whenever I have this on, it's very narrow here, but as it comes out, it comes to the widest point in the panel here. So baby can sit basically anywhere with their bum mm. right the way down to here. So Lily is in the wide setting now, but I'm going to show her this. You can take your socks off because you've got one off and one on, silly Billy. Silly Billy. Whenever I set her in, instead of putting her here on top of the waistband, I put her down into the waistband a little bit further. So you can see that it comes out to meet her knee pits on either side. So if I smooth that up over her bum, I can pop my arms in through the straps. And then I'm just going to find the shoulder tuck, which is all the way tight. Loosen it up a little bit. And put that on together. Now, the head support acts as an extension of the panel. So that's still coming up to the back of her neck. Um, you can use this to tighten it up a little bit so it's a bit more secure. And as you can see, she's still needing a... Daddy is now just joined us. Hi, Daddy! <laughs> Lily, Lily just bought a new Lily because she stuffed this one. <laughs> it's your favourite print, so you know you'll be happy with that. Good enough reason. Yeah, so as you can see, she's still need an eat. As I say, she's already in the wide setting in this carrier, so she's still need an eat in the narrow setting. 
it just means that you have to sit her further into the panel. So if I put my hand in between, that is all the panel there hidden by my hand. So there's an overlap. Bum's nice and low, her knees are up nice and high. She's in a perfect position there. So that's a very, very large, up to 100 centile baby, six month old baby sitting in the narrow setting. So don't be kind of rushing. A lot of mums try and rush to get into the wider setting. Um, keep them narrow. We normally say, if you want to show the leg, the knees freely moving. That's the optimal position. You want knees freely moving like that. If the fabric has passed the knees, um, you're better off so keeping they're stuck it. like this. They look like they're doing splits. That's a lot worse for them than having their legs hanging straight down. So what you really want to do is keep them in the narrow setting until they're definitely ready for the wider setting. Um, another great tip, Katie, is to show them how to tighten um, by lifting yep. the weight. This is a really common error. People pull like that mm -hmm. to tighten up but what you should do first is if I lift her weight up off her bum I find it's much easier to either pull back in this direction or from the back you can pull down and again that made a lovely noise because it's really nice and stiff it will loosen up so I can loosen off like that and you'll actually get a much better fit if you just use one hand to lift Lily and see where the slack is and put her in the other position Katie if you wouldn't mind showing is You've got in rooks. If you just like to turn around and show us, that's a rook position. And basically, that means this shoulder, this is going round this side. A lot of people often struggle with rook, um, or just prefer to have a cross strap uh, fitting. Would you mind? I'm five foot eight, and I've got a good bit of adjustability left there in my rock style straps. But smaller mums can't find that the straps feel a bit long like that, and find that it doesn't feel quite secure enough for them. So what I'll show you is not even smaller mums. I often find mums with very slopey shoulders um, prefer to do it cross. I actually much, and I wouldn't describe myself as a smaller mum, I much prefer to do a cross back. I find it much easier to put in and it fits, it just fits into me better. So you have a choice with the little baby, you can rock or you can cross. Um, try both, see what you prefer. So what I've just done is I've let some slack into the straps because whenever you cross the straps, you use a longer strap than you would if you were straight. So you just put baby in exactly the same way, and whenever you get to this position, so you've got the panel up over their back, you just flip your shoulder straps over your shoulders. Then what you do is, reach along the small of your back and find the furthest strap away. What you wanna do is put it straight down first, bring it round, find the clip on the other side, together and again just some of that weight and tighten if you don't pull it straight down if you pull it across diagonally what happens is it rides up into your neck so by pulling it straight down you're pulling all the slack out of the panel and you're pulling it to the edge of your shoulder so whenever you bring it round it stays there and it doesn't pull into your neck so again just clip it tighten the first bit and then Lift the weight to tighten the rest. Bouncy, bouncy, so if you just bouncy, turn around, bouncy, you can bouncy. see it's called cross trapped because you're put the cross as opposed to the earlier. Um, any questions or any bit issues, shout them out. In the meantime, we'll just show you all the lush new prints that have just come in. Um, and can you remember which one's Bora Bora? Bora Bora and Blue Lagoon. And one of, the one of these is Blue Bora Bora <laughs> and one of these is Blue Lagoon. That's a new citrus embossed. Um, I really, really like both of those. I think they're lovely. This is Falling Fern. Um, really, really nice. We've got donuts back in. Um, we've got owls back in stock. What else have we got in? Oh, unicorn. Unicorn. The last time we had this, it sold out in about three seconds. So we've got a very, very small shipment of unicorn in. Should be up on Baba Me. Oh, Frosted, Frosted Rose. Rose. Perfect for this time of year. And what very else classy. is new? The other one that isn't falling fern. <laughs> that, sorry, that's Lily Pond. <laughs> and Lily and Pond, that's falling fern. fern. Yep, my mistake there. Um, I think that's it for Lily Babies. Yep. Oh, we can show you the doll one, which is on Alfie. On Alfie. Good position there. Close enough to kiss. <laughs> you know, he's following all the rules. <laughs> he says, What are you doing talking to me? And again, he's showing the 
bags, which I still haven't got on the website. Could you do the side carry? Not sure I'm putting mine on right. The hip carry? The hip carry, yep. Yep, so at the minute I have cross straps, and again, you will want to do that whenever you're doing the hip carry, but I'll do it slightly differently. I'm just going to scoop oh, the way around onto my hip. Hello, Lily. Hi, Elf. <laughs> Hello, Elfie. Start with your strap, one strap done up. Alfie, 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 can you get up? Alfie, up on the floor. Okay, so I have Lily in here. Swoon to the penguins is, is right. Sorry. Caroline just said swoon to the penguins. Totally agree with you, Caroline. She is in my left hip. Bear with me. Left and right aren't very good. I have fastened the right shoulder strap to the left clip. So again, it's like having crossed your straps. So whenever I pop her into the carrier, I'm just going to bring this up her back. Pop my arm through as I go. And duck both of us into it. And again, you want it quite far out onto your shoulder. <coughs> then you have your second strap, and you just bring it round behind your arm. Under your arm, as I'll just point it out. And just cover it on its side. Hey, yay, 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 yay. Hey, yay, yay. He says, I'm not a model. I cursed it. Kirsty James was her maiden cake. She has got so big. She was always so big. <laughs> she started off big, she's just got bigger. Anybody who's ever seen me in real life knows that I have the pink line being penguins purse. So I'm a particular fan of this. Lily's not looking too happy at the moment. Lily says, Lily says, why are you messing with me? Why are you messing with me? What else were we asked to talk about? Um, oh. Unicorns? Unicorn, someone asked to talk about the um, Arky toys, the large one, and where's the small one? Um, <laughs> okay, the difference in size between large and small, and I'll just hit. Oh, here he is, here. oh I found it. Oh, we got one. No, we've got two. So we got in the super large. <laughs> He's just taking his head off. Um, Arty toy there. That's Jack Skull, the large one. That's the size difference. They're really big. If I stand back and kind of show you that um how is the toddler version for comfort carrying in a larger child sorry katie's asked looks comfy how how is the toddler version for comfort carrying a larger child i carry alfie uh, alfie is a meter tall and i carry him perfectly comfortably in the carry-on and um, i can still fit him in the complete as well but the carry-on is more comfortable. I just want to show you, Alfie has got matching penguins. So, if you're having a new baby and you've got a toddler, I think a fantastic gift, if you're going to be carrying, is a doll carrier. Because I think it helps the toddler kind of adjust to having a new baby in the house. Um, they can imitate what you're doing. Um, and it's a great way to normalise uh, baby wearing in the next generation. Yep, Alfie at home quite regularly will put his monkey up and he calls it up on back so he'll put monkey up on back and mum will have little up yeah he's got loose with a pen i think we might have to look for some <laughs> so the next thing we were going to talk about was unicorns they've been outfeed being outfeed is a phrase <laughs> oh 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 Uh, we have the different types of unicorn. We have the Trudy unicorn. That's not a puppet. It's just a unicorn. It's a soft toy, yep. Uh, we have the wooden buttons. buttons, which is really, really cute. And we are going to be putting a half price offer on wooden unicorn once we finish. And we have the puppet unicorn, which has... A gold unicorn. There is also a puppet unicorn with baby, which has the cutest little finger puppet. Caroline, yes, you spoiled the boxes. Yes, yes, they're still on the website. Um, 
Someone asked us to do fire stations and fire engines. We'll do that in about 20 minutes. We'll do a comparison of fire engines, fire stations, firemen, or fire women. And we'll do a comparison of the different tea sets. We've got quite a few tea sets. Um, I think that's it from me and Katie. Now we're going to settle Lily down, who's a little upset. Um, we never quite got matching carriers in shot. <laughs> And uh, when we come back in the mic video, we might just, if we have a toddler carrier show, um, you've got her in the car, we'll get a Alfie being a toddler carrier. And if Lily's settled down a bit, we might show a tandem carry and how you might achieve that. Okay, speak to you soon.